So my wife will be turning 40 in the next couple years and we're planning her birthday celebration. And so we're gonna use the planning of her birthday celebration to talk about the difference between leadership and inclusive leadership. So humor me for a second as you watch this video. Hey, 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 everybody, it's Dr. Dar here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, just know I'm a leadership speaker, coach, and family man. My goal is to help you lead with inclusivity, purpose, and clarity and confidence. All right, so many of you know what a leader is, but do you know what an inclusive leader is? Today, we're gonna to be planning my wife's birthday party and giving us the difference between the two. And so if you know a little bit about my wife, you know that we'll be on some kind of island, we'll be at some kind of resort, right? We're gonna have a small group of friends that she really, really loves and really cares for. And I wanna make sure that I explain the difference between leadership and inclusive leadership, thinking about all the things that she loved for her birthday. Yeah. You know, if you're thinking about this from a lens of traditional leadership, you're only focused on planning the party alone. You're focused on the results. So did people have a good time or did she have a good time specifically? And then you're doing checklists. And so food, music, guests, right? You got, you got those things covered. So the inclusive leadership approach is more about bringing your friends in so that they can give some advice on how to make this special for her and for them. You know, some of the benefits of inclusive leadership is really about creating opportunity for everybody feels involved, everybody feels connected, and we're able to build a deeper relationship, not just getting things done. Another benefit for inclusive leadership is the reflection of personalities and celebration of diversity in thought, experience, and desire. You know, when everybody's getting their needs met, when everybody gets the opportunity to get the things that they want, we create a great experience for everybody in the space, not just the people who are in authoritative roles or people who are we are trying to commemorate or serve or look after, right? It's about everybody growing and developing in the ways that they see fit. So here's some things to think about as it relates to traditional leader, versus inclusive leader. You got the traditional leader that's really more focused on outcomes, really more focused on goals and how do we maximize the achievement of those goals. Where you have inclusive leaders who are more people focused, they really focus on building on strength of ideas, connection, support. It's not just about um, the outcome it's about the process and it's about the relationships that we build in the process. So where traditional leadership, it does care about processes and we want to make sure that we have a process that meets the needs of the outcome. But we also in, in inclusive leadership, we also care about that, but we also care about the relationships that people build in the process. We care about the learning that's happening in the process and how do we get everybody to contribute to that process in a way where they feel valued and respected for their strengths, their gifts, their talents. It's not just about hitting the outcome and making sure people are on the bus, but making sure people are comfortable on the bus in the right seats, right? And so we wanna make sure that we're doing that to the best of our abilities. That's why we practice inclusive leadership. It maximizes productivity, but it also maximizes satisfaction. So here's some of the risk of planning your party alone. I got all the responsibilities, the food, the music, making sure everybody has the right invites, address, making sure everybody knows the plan, and then I forget the dessert. Now it's all on me. Now it's all my fault. And I couldn't lean on anybody to help me make sure that I got all the things that we need, needed to make sure that this was a great experience for my wife, right? Also during the party, my wife is probably gonna want me with her, dancing, joking, taking shots, right? I can't do that if I'm also leading the entire party. I'm responsible for all the activities, all the agenda, all the things that we're gonna do to make this in a special event, not just for her, but also for her friends. And so if I am always going to be called out to handle issues, crisis, tasks, that's gonna take away from my wife's experience, right? 
This is similar to when you take on a project and you do everything by yourself. And then all of a sudden when things go wrong, we only have one person that we can look to as a problem in this situation is usually you. And so we got to find ways to get everybody involved in some way, shape or form so that the project goes off in a way that makes sure that everybody contributes, everybody feels valued, everybody feels satisfied with the outcome. And you do that by getting more input because more input allows for you to not make as many mistakes or it allows for you to checkpoint with somebody else so that you know that if you, if you did miss something, then you got somebody to say, all right, let me make sure that I handle this part. Or you stay at the party or you stay in this project, you stay in this moment, I'll take off and make sure that we get those things that we need and then I'll be back. And so we can keep the, mo the train moving so we don't lose time, we don't lose productivity, we don't lose impact, and we don't lose efficiency, right? And so that's really, really important in our journey in this space. So remember, leadership is about getting things done. It's about hitting outcomes. It's about having a process, but that process is more focused on making sure that everybody is contributing, whereas inclusive leadership is about getting things done in a way that makes sure that everybody contributes in a way that shows their strengths, show what they value, show what they care about, helps us build deeper relationships, but also helps us create more memorable moments for people. And so if this was good, please share this, like this, right? Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll get more opportunities to be able to talk about leadership, inclusion, and impact and purpose. Finally, also check out the workbook at the link below. You can get our workbook on in our guide on inclusive leadership and how to help you be more impactful, create respectful spaces where people feel like they belong so that you can get the most out of yourself and others. I appreciate y'all. Keep doing the good work.